it tells a couple of new things that we didn't know before, or most people wouldn't know. Penguins use, they, they squeeze out air through their feathers in order to propel themselves three times as quick through the water. Well, now you, do, you don't see that fact, but you do see the, the streams of air bubbles, and it looks like they are flying in air like jet planes. And this was the nature story that both the nature uh, specialized jury and the main jury found the most visually appealing, interesting, you know, varied. Uh, and, and it's also a full story. It, you know, it shows a lot of different parts of life of those penguins, but in a very strongly visual way. Good colors, good graphics, good, you know, simple graphics, which make the, make the, the picture have a punch. Second Prize is a completely different story. It's shot in black and white. And it's a, it's a zoo story. Now, in the nature section, we deliberately did, we, we, we deselected images of animals in captivity when the captivity in itself was not a part of the issue. This second prize winner really sh makes a point. It's a very strong statement about how we as humans treat animals. And it's also a statement about, you know, do we think animals have feelings? And if you see those animals' eyes, you realize those animals do have feelings and they're not very happy. And, you know, the whole, you know there's a lion picture which, is, which the eyes of the lion are completely haunted. So, so that's a story that's very topical, very issue-driven, very, you know, you could say political if you like, but it's beautifully poetically photographed. In the world press photo, what we're also looking for is is these images have to be able to communicate uh, cross gender, cross uh, geography, cross ethnicity, cross religion. You know, it, it needs to reach out and grab people and you know pull them in. Yeah, we thought that that is a, it's much less action. It's a quite a serene, still, very elegant, very clean story. And again, it's a story that's really told from A to Z. Uh, you know. Some distant pictures, poetic in the, themselves, you know, lit, natural lighting. Uh, usually underwater is always flash, but sometimes it really helps to do the natural light. And uh, then there are some real reportage uh, showing issues. You, know, you see a boat propeller and the shark, which tells you that, okay, there's a, there could be a conflict here, there could be a problem. And then you see the next picture of the shark is a beautiful picture of a shark shot from the back uh, over the fin, and you see the fin has been sliced by a propeller, which you understand because you saw the picture before. So that's, that's telling the story without words, but in images. The second prize is, um, is a very disturbing image and completely crazy. It's, it's a captive monkey that is used in the streets of some place in Indonesia to, um, to beg money or to, to, uh, to earn money for the owner of it, and to spice up the attraction, so to say, not just having a monkey running around in a, on a leash. So what you see is a, is a doll face and a monkey body running around. And of course that is <laughs> it's very visual, and I'm sure it attracts more money, so to say, for people passing by than just the monkey would have done. But it poses very serious questions, you know, how do we treat animals? This is a journalistic image, you can easily say, because it, you know, it, you see it, you feel something, and then you start thinking, where is this, what is this, why, why is that, why, how, you know, a lot of question marks show up. And those are the best pictures because they lead you down into a caption, uh, and where the more things can be explained, or more questions raised. Yeah, at the end there was this, this fish picture, and uh, we all found it, in both juries, very different, very astonishing. First of all, the fishes, you know, looked like a, a rocket or a, what's called a trumpet, but we didn't see the front end of the trumpet. And um, it shot very close and with a very short depth of field. And it looks like natural lighting, but there is a sun, it's close to the surface and it's a sun somewhere maybe a sunset or some orange skies that are reflected in the one eye. That was to the extent that I was thinking, I want to see the raw file of this picture because 
you know, things happen. Sometimes photographers are over enthusiastic with the with the possibilities that Photoshop gives, and um, we saw the raw files, and it was exactly the same thing. You know, it was there was no fiddling or fixing and tricksing with it. It was just cropped and you know done the normal things with it, and that of course you know. It, it, uh, more and more in journalism, in photojournalism, in photography, this is an issue. Um, if we pretend that the images are documentary, you know, it's a statement that it was something that really was in a certain way, and then you can't change it too much. 